hello, hello everybody, and welcome to hashtag acrylic pouring fun. This is an event that I am hosting along with Teresa's Creations. I will leave a link to her channel down below. Um, pretty much what we're going to be doing for the next five weeks is creating some fun uh, canvases using uh, the method of acrylic pouring. We're going to be doing different techniques um, for this week's uh, event. Uh, we had the option of doing a dirty pour or a straight pour. I opted to do a straight pour. So more or less what you see me right now doing is just checking consistency of my paints. Um, I have mixed my paints with um, Deco Art Pouring Medium. And I'm also going to add a little bit of water um, depending on how thick they are and which one needs it and so on and so forth. Um, I'm also going to be playing around with, I have two different products that both um, have a silicone uh, in it. Uh, one is actually 100% silicone and the other one is actually um, this coconut oil that has the dimethicone uh, as one of the ingredients. So I wanted to test it out. So you're going to see me more or less uh, sh um, showing that and adding that in there as well. So the colors that I've decided to go with are true blue, um, peacock teal, we have yellow, we have red, and for a metallic little touch, I've decided to go with a uh, rich espresso, which is a uh, deco art paint. Um, all of the paints that I have used are deco art paints. Um, and this is an, another product that I've used, another color that I've used, which is white. Um, and I've mixed that solely with the uh, pouring medium. Okay. Now, I did get some very weird effects on this one. Um, I did get something like a feathering effect. I'm thinking that it's probably from that other um, product that I used, which is a, it's a Hispanic product. I found it in, in the pharmacy, but um, the name, it's got like a Spanish name to it. I actually do not know where I placed the right now, so I can show you guys what I'm going to use. Oh, yes, I have that name. Um, it's pretty much dry body oil. But um, I didn't realize, this is like for, um, I, I guess it's for like when you take a shower. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a little bit different. Um, and I didn't realize that. I didn't find it where they had the soaps and stuff. So, when I came to notice, it was already too late and I had already used it. But, what you guys see me doing here is what they call more or less a straight pour, where, is, where you lay one color and then you pretty much pour every other color, one over the other, over the other, over the other. As opposed to the dirty pour, which is where you place all of the colors, you layer them all inside of one vessel, inside of a cup, um, I decided to go with this uh, version right here. Now, I tended to always mix a lot of paint, so I actually uh, try to keep that a little bit on the more marginal side, so I didn't use as much paint um, as I have used previously. Again, I am just learning, so I'm trying different ways. I'm trying to figure out what works best for me. Um, and what gives me the effects that I'm more or less looking for. I'm still searching, you guys. <laughs> so I'll let you know when I think I have it. You'll hear me scream Eureka <laughs> when I have got this down to a science. Um, but not yet, not yet. Right now, this is just mostly fun. Um, and like I mentioned to you guys before, it is extremely, extremely fun for me to do these kinds of projects. Um, anything to do with paint, I'm just like, you know, in love with. So. Um, pretty much, as you guys can see, the paint is kind of flowing all over the place. Um, this is more or less achieved because of the fact that I have, number one, mixed it with the pouring medium, which um, kind of dilutes the paint without diluting the color. Um, and also because I've added some white paint under the paint before I started layering all the different colors on top of it. So right now, it's kind of like um, just spreading all over the place. Um, it's doing its little dance. And at first, I'm like, okay, cool, let's see what's going to happen. Um, my personal goal is to try to get some cells. That's just my, my challenge, um, is to try to get some cells. Um, not everybody likes cells. There's plenty of acrylic pores that don't have any cells, and they look absolutely gorgeous. Um, so pretty much, you know, you get to play with it and just, you know, go on your own little challenge, see, you know, which way you like it, how you, more or less how you like to layer and create your, you know, your art. Um, for me, I'm just trying to get some cells. <laughs> so I keep trying different silicones um, and seeing what works. And I'm noticing that they don't, do not all work the same. 
Um, so at some point in time, when I've collected a few other ones, I will do some kind of, um, I guess, a demo of just the, the effects and what, what works for me and what didn't work for me. Um, I'm currently waiting for a warmer product uh, that I ordered, but it's coming from a warehouse, so that's going to take a couple of days. But, um, so, because I didn't really um, appreciate, you know, overall the aesthetic of how this was looking. It wasn't pleasing to my eye. Um, I know Hubby was like, oh, I love it. He loved the bright colors and stuff like that, and just the way that everything looked very um, pop art-ish. Um, but that's not really my style. So, um, I start adding a little bit of the colors that I have left. So I'm just adding a little bit of here, a little bit there. Um, just to see if I can create some of what it is that I'm looking for. I also torch the canvas in between. That's an option that you have. Um, sometimes if you get cells, you don't need to torch it. Um, pretty much torching it or applying a heat gun to it, what it does is that it allows for some of the air bubbles that might be trapped between the layers of paint to kind of rise to the top and just, you know, disappear. It can also do the effect of creating cells for you, which pretty much are just the air bubbles or the pockets. Uh, that are created, you know, with the breaking down of the silicone and the paint. Um, so that kind of happens sometimes. So uh, more or less, I'm still, like I said, trying to figure it out for myself. This is why I was so excited about doing this. Um, this is not so much of a hop as it is more of a, of a hashtag event. This is pretty much open for any of you guys and all of you guys that have seen these um, kind of acrylic pores or different acrylic pores on YouTube and have been like, oh my God, I want to try this, I want to try this. This is definitely your time to do it. Um, this is definitely your time to try. Uh, I will leave a list down below of some of the products that you can get um, in order to do this. Everybody achieves different results, you guys. There's no such thing as perfection because what ends up coming out is always a mystery. Nobody ever gets the same effects twice. Um, the result is never the same twice. As much as you try, things will always look different. So there's really no pressure on that level. You can kind of feel free. Um, you know, and just kind of let yourself go and just allow yourself to relax through the process. So I'll leave some information down below. Um, some of the products are very readily available. And you guys, to top it off, anybody that, that you know, has the nerve to try it, um, that says, you know what, I'm going to go for it, is going to get put into a drawing for a $20 PayPal, uh, uh, you know, uh, prize. And that's going to be coming from my channel as well as from Teresa's channel. So you guys have the option or the possibility of winning a total of $40. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Just for trying something that you've never tried. Super, super awesome. And so, you can use any kind of acrylic paint. You guys, you don't have to use expensive paint. You can get the real, real cheap paints. I know you guys have like um, Walmarts and stuff like that. Sometimes you can get those little two ounce bottles of paint for like really, really dirt cheap. So, you might already have some paints as well that you haven't really tried. This is definitely a great way to, you know, explore something. And who knows? You might come out with a super amazing canvas. Use the colors that you love and just have some fun. So more or less what you see me doing here is that I've applied the, like I've spread out. I use like a little spatula to kind of, you know, just spread out some of that paint um, and push some of that paint, you know, back and forth. And that actually allowed for some of the air that was trapped under the paint to kind of come up. Um, it allowed it allowed um, for some of the silicone that was trapped within the paint to kind of be visible now. So now, as you guys can see, I got some cells. Yes, I did. Sometimes, you know, that's what you need to do. Um, you need to just kind of swipe it across very gently um, right over the top. And then that will allow for some of the cells uh, to kind of take place. It will allow for the silicone and the paint to kind of break apart from each other and allow some of these things to kind of be visible. So overall... For my first one, I'm pretty, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm still going to be working on it. I'm still going to be trying to um, get better at this because I think that this is something that I'm definitely going to be doing uh, for the long haul, uh, not just as part of this hashtag event, but I really do thoroughly enjoy this um, and I do want to create more. And who knows, maybe once I get really, really good at it, um, you know, I'll do some amazing things on my channel with it. So... What I'm doing is I'm just using up like all the little paints. I I used up everything in the cup. I went ahead and did um, create myself a little bit more white, um, just because I felt like uh, some of the colors they get a little bit muddy on me just from the back and forth. Um, so I just wanted to bring a little bit more vibrancy onto the um, the canvas itself. So I started to apply just little thin little lines um, with my spatula, which is what you see me doing here. And I do that with the white. I also go in with the teal. 
with the blue and also with the um the the brown one which is the metallic color which is what um geez louise where are you i'll have other colors down below i think it's rich espresso if i'm not mistaken yes rich espresso so definitely make sure that you guys check that out check out you know uh, the hashtag, I'll leave the hashtag down below. Definitely put that into your YouTube search bar and see who's creating everything. Um, and hopefully you'll want to follow along. I know that um, Crafty with Donna Jackson is going to be joining us as well. I know that she's um, going to be doing a live tomorrow. Uh, well, tomorrow is Thursday. I'm recording this on Wednesday. So um, she's going to be doing a live on Thursday where she's going to be creating her very first acrylic core live, you guys. So definitely super fun. Make sure that you go and check that out. I believe that she goes on at 7 if I'm not mistaken. But if you're not subscribed to her channel, subscribe. I will leave a link down below for um, Teresa's Creations channel as well as for Donna because I know for a fact that she's going to be joining. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be creating a playlist, you guys. Everybody's videos that they create is going to be on that playlist. I will be including that playlist down below as well. So if you want to follow along and check them out, you're more than welcome to. You have from the Thursday that we put our video up to that Wednesday, you know, right before the next video goes up, to put up your video. So you have a whole week um, to gather yourself some supplies. You can get some supplies from Dollar Tree. So it doesn't have to necessarily be a very expensive project. So thank you all so, so much. I hope that you have enjoyed uh, watching me go through this process. I will have some pictures for you at the end of this video. And until the next one, you guys, have a good one. Bye.